name is Ozzy and I teach you guys how to save money when building computers. If you've been on my channel for a while, then you know that I really enjoy building cheap computers. To be honest, it's kind of becoming a problem. But a question I've received and I've pondered on for quite some time is this. Why hypothetically build a $300 computer when a $500 one would be much faster, more reliable, and higher quality? Why not just save up? Seriously, it's a valid question, so let's talk about it. But before we go into that, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, Fluster. I've been searching for another monitor and monitor arm for my setup, and because it's a good amount of money, I want to make sure I'm getting the best value. Luster has legitimately been a big help in the process. Luster is a free shopping tool that analyzes trusted expert reviews like Wirecutter, Reddit discussions, YouTube videos, and it's right on Amazon. It's a great help if you don't want to spend hours going through a bunch of reviews to figure out what's worth your money. Luster gives recommendations based on your budget and needs. It compares prices between different retailers and it tells you when something is on sale, so you're usually always getting the best deal. All in all, Luster has helped me pick out my new monitor and it's also helped me pick out my new monitor arm and I'm sure it can do the same for you. Click the link in the description to check it out right now. It's completely free to use. All right, back to the discussion. So next to me is a $500 gaming computer that I recently built on the channel. And I have to admit, it's really, really good. Although my $100 PCs and my $300 to $350 PCs can play games, this can do so much more for another two to $400. It can edit videos better, it can live stream better, it can multitask better. It also uses brand new components, so more warranty, better longevity, and it has a phenomenal upgrade path. So Ozzy, shouldn't I just save up for the $500 computer? Yeah, I agree. I think if you can, you should definitely do that. That's a much wiser. So you agree? Uh, yeah, I, I agree. So your whole channel is a lie. It's a scam. I've been bamboozled. Well, no, if you just let me finish, I was about so to say. my computer is a lie. A $300 game the computer is a lie <laughs> this whole time you've been a con artist a phony a fake and guess what now i'm gonna get flamed i'm gonna do the boys are gonna flame in the group chat let, let me explain more in a different scene I wish everyone could save up more money to build a better gaming computer. A $500 budget is going to get you a better system than a $300 computer. If it's in your means to save up, totally do it. I feel like that goes without saying. And although I show you guys how to build $100 to $200 computers on the channel, they're not always available. Those extreme budget builds only work during certain seasons when stock is high and deals are fresh. That $100 gaming PC I uploaded to my channel about six weeks ago is already obsolete, not because the performance is bad, but because so much has changed in pricing and stock since February. Generally speaking, $250 will give you a good enough computer regardless of circumstance, in the USA anyway. So yes, save up if you can, the problem with saying just save up is that doesn't really work for everyone. And no matter what, there are going to be people who don't have a lot of money and still want to build a computer. And so instead of telling them just save up, I wanna make sure that they use their money wisely. And then there's the aspect of time. Time is money. The time you're waiting or saving up is time that you don't have a computer. And this isn't some kind of checkmate atheist silver bullet that completely disassembles the argument that one should save up. One should, if they can, especially at a lower budget. But it does bring a different perspective that's reality for a lot of people. I built my first computer when I was around 13 or so, and I saved up $300. Do you want to guess how long it took me to save up $300? I don't know, Ozzy. How long did it take you? Thank you for asking, Ozzy clone. It took me over a year. <laughs> now, I was not patient enough to save up another two to $300, so I decided to work with what I had and I built myself a pretty decent computer. I understand that not everyone is a goofy 13 year old kid like I was, so I decided to do a quick interview with my roommate who just finished his second computer ever and ask him about his perspective on his very first one. You look so good. <laughs> Your first computer, when did you build it? 
I built it when I was in high school. What year was that? Like 20... That was like 2014 14? in total with like all the peripherals, like monitor and everything yeah. like that to get it working was $800. Okay, and then the base computer, how much was that? I think the base computer was like 600 because I put up like 200 bucks into the monitor. The CPU was an i5-4460 R930-80 Sapphire card and that was a good card because had eight gigabytes of VRAM. And so you used it until like a month ago, right? Yeah, I used it all throughout college, my senior year of high school, beginning of 2021. So it lasted yeah. about like seven years, six, seven years. And so how much did you spend on your current system? <laughs> <laughs> uh. My roommate had his initial $600 budget computer for almost seven years. Now granted, that was back when computer hardware performance was stagnating. You probably can't get away with that now, but it lasted him through college until he was able to buy something better. And his new computer, oh, it's beautiful. And that kind of segues into my final point that it's not just about gaming. Building a gaming computer works because it basically guarantees you good performance with anything else. So it's not just about the leisure activity of playing video games. When I built my $300 computer, I was ecstatic, but I was even more motivated to try and build something better. As a result, I started doing odd jobs online. I learned how to create websites. I learned a little bit of graphic design. I even started a PC building business just so I can save up and get a better PC in the future. Although that $300 computer was not the fastest, having it around was enough motivation for me to try and better the situation. So last year I donated some upgraded office machines to people who desperately needed them. And one of the guys got back to me around Thanksgiving time of last year. And I just wanna read part of what he said to kind of get the point across a little bit more. Hey Oz, I was one of the people you donated a computer to back in the summer. At that time, my laptop had shut down and I was doing literally everything on my phone. Being a recent graduate, I was looking for a job. I was just scraping by with tutoring to make money. And even that was getting worse because of quarantine. When he gave me one of the computers, things started to really look up. I managed to get a job as a college instructor at a local community college. I teach chemistry classes virtually and I was using your computer for months. I even managed to use a dual monitor setup to teach classes with your machine. I've been making a decent amount of money now and I'm finally able to afford a new system. So I did all my research and recently built my own computer. Thank you for your generosity. I gave my computer to my cousin who's in dire need of one and I couldn't be happier. Now I seriously don't want this to be from pride or ego. I want this to A, be an encouragement for people who are in similar positions and B, to show you anecdotally that one of those upgraded office machines, this happened last year, can make a big difference. Prior to this, the receiver of the computer was using his phone to apply to jobs and to run chemistry simulations, which is completely <laughs> insane. <laughs> but after he got this computer, he was able to change some things around. Applying for jobs is much easier on a computer than on a phone, and running simulations is, do I even have to explain that? Computers are so important to our everyday lives. They bring stability, they help people out, and I think everybody should have access to them. The reason I focus on cheap PCs is to give that sense of stability for a little bit so you can build or buy, we don't pre-built shame here, a better computer in the future. The point of my channel is to give you options. They may not be the most powerful, but they're curated in a way to ensure that you're spending your money wisely. In a similar vein, they may not always be available, but my hope is that you learn some tips, some tricks, so you can build or buy something affordable for yourself without my videos. These super cheap PCs are stopgap solutions, and then when you're ready, you hand it down to someone else and you build something better for yourself. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, then leave a like. If you loved it, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below if you've done something like this. I always get really excited when people start off with a more affordable computer, and then they get the financial means to upgrade to something much better. That always gets me excited. So if that's you, let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, follow me on all my socials at OzSoxHW on everything and check out Luster as well. They have some really good deals and they're a solid Chrome extension. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.